Hi, we are Sylvester. We work a lot with MIDI. We have uh, like several problems that we can solve with MIDI Hub. What we usually do is we feed a lot of MIDI from the MPC into the profit and from the profit back to the MPC. Sounds like this, for example. Now we have one MIDI loop running. But when we change the MIDI program here, it just sends a random MIDI program change to the MPC and then it changes everything. So that is, I cannot say how that feels, but sometimes very <laughs> depressing. We are entirely screwed. The solution that we found is unplugging the cable, <laughs> but then we have to come back to, to this and it, it's not a real workable solution. So basically we found a very easy solution with MIDI Hub to solve this. And we're gonna show you how. So the solution we found is we need one input. We take it from the left and we just chose MIDI A, so that's the first input. We want to filter, so we take the filter pipe and what the profit is not allowed to send is every MIDI channel. So we have to select them one by one. In a future update, I think we can have something like select all. And profit only sends on MIDI channel 10. Then we filter out the most important thing, the program changes. And as a little goodie, we could also filter the system common and real-time data because we just don't need it. And then take the output, we send out to MIDI output A, and that's where the MIDI data is going nice and filtered to the MPC solution in something two minutes. So we are back at the setup. We filter the outputs from the profit. We don't want to have program changes coming out of the profit into the MPC. So the solution was to go out of the profit into the MIDI hub, out of the MIDI hub into the MPC and do the filtering in the MIDI hub. So when we play our loop now and we change programs, right now it's an 88, we change programs on the profit. It won't change the MPC anymore. Solution found, all good, all fine. 